welcome everyone to another video thank you so much for watching as always i do appreciate it and today we're going to take a look at this really cool plugin called uh, game categories light version 1.5 r3 yes and basically this plugin will categorize all of your games and just organize everything because when we're adding so much homebrew, so many PSP games, so many emulators, it gets kind of crazy when you go through your memory card, you're like, oh, where's that game at? Where is this at? Or you just kind of want to do a better uh, organization on all your stuff. So let's take a look at what I got here. And here's my memory stick. And these are all the games and homebrew and emulators and things like that I have on this memory card. And as you can see, everything is just scattered. And I do love the, uh, let's see here, it's called, you see, I'm having a hard time finding it, uh, the Homebrew Sorter. This is a great app to organize all your stuff, but this plugin will actually categorize like all the Homebrew in one folder, all your PSP videos, or not PSP videos, games in one folder, emulators, and just other stuff like updates or whatever. So let's take a look at this plugin. Let's download it, install it, and see how it works. First thing we're gonna do is connect our PSP to our PC. Open up that USB drive. There we go. And now we can go to the first link in the description and that'll take you to a Google Drive file. And this file is called Game Categories Lite version 1.5 R3.zip. So we're gonna download by hitting this button on the right hand side here, upper right hand side, called Download. Click on that. And now we're gonna show in folder. We can exit out of here and we can extract this file extract it here there's our category light.prx now we're going to go into our usb drive and go into sc plugins then copy the category light.prx file into the sc plugins folder and now we're going to open our vsh text document now we're going to paste this text into the document and I'll have that ready for you in the description below along with the PSP Go version because this will not work for the PSP Go console. This is only for the 1000, 2000 and 3000 model and you want to hit control save or hit file save. And now we're going to create our folders. We're going to go into Let's see, ISO. And what I want to do is create new folder. And let's do, let's see, let's do PSP. And then we can copy all of our PSP ISOs into that folder. Very good. And then we can go into our game folder. And we want to do a new folder. Let's do emulators. Sorry for the loud uh, keyboard, guys. Emulators. We're going to have to open this guy up a lot more here. Let's do another folder called Homebrew. And another one called, let's see, uh, Sony, or we could just say PS1. Okay, so now we're gonna have to find all the related games and stuff for each of these folders. Let's start at the top, we got Spiral, Bloody Roar 1, 2, Capcom, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, Crash Bash, Crash Team Racing, Croc, and in your PSP drive, everything's going to be categorized depending on how you have it. Ascending, descending, by file name, and things like that. You can uh, you can categorize everything in here by using the right click. By view, you can do, uh, or sort by, I'm sorry. By size, type, date, modified, name, or whatever. And you can just go through that way. So let's move all of these 
PS1 games into our PS1 folder. And should take some time here. There we go. Uh, Medieval Mutant Academy. Let's see here. Rugrats, Wild Nine. Mm, let's see, what else do we got here? Gauntlet. Oh, Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Let's move all that into PS1. Now we can do the emulators. We have Diatalus. Let's see, GPSP, Pico Drive, Nestor, Master Boy, uh, the SNES. Move those into emulators. Now for our homebrew, we can do, uh, oh no, we got this one, DS uh, emulator as well. Now we can do the rest of these games. We have uh, No Bugs Allowed, Nazi Zombies, Silver Edge. Let's put those into homebrew. You can also do applications. I'll do one for applications. You can do another one for updates. You can keep all these pro uh, update and the flasher and fast recovery and updates. I like to keep them just because they look cool. And we got homebrew here, emulators. Okay, Doom is homebrew game. And the flasher is, we can throw that in updates. UMD dumper, we can do that in the applications. Update, let's see, we can move that into updates. UMD dumper version 2.4 in applications. X-Men versus Street Fighter in PS1, Marvel versus Capcom in PS1, Homebrew Sorter, Fast Recovery, let's see, Homebrew Sorter is going to be in applications, Fast Recovery is going to be in updates, Pro Updates is going to be in updates, DSP, which one is, oh this is Homebrew game, so we can move this into Homebrew, and I cleaned everything up, so, I know it took a little while, but uh, it's going to look good after we're done here. So we can now disconnect from USB connection. Once we're out of USB connection, you want to press select to go to your VSH menu. And you want to go down and choose reset VSH. And this will reset your device. And the new plugin should be working right away. Let me restart remote to a light here. There we go. And let's go into our game section. And right away you'll see the new folders. There's updates, there's applications, PS1, homebrew, emulators, PSP. Wow, this is great. So let's check out applications. And there's all of our homebrew applications. That's great. And now we can go into our PS1 folder. And there's all of our PS1 games. Very good. Let's go back. There's our homebrew folder. Wow, this is an amazing plugin. Let's go down to emulators. And there's all of our emulators. Beautiful plugin. I love this so much. And finally, our PSP games. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Homebrew Sorter application will no longer work. And I'll show you here in just a second. As you can see, the Homebrew Sorter app just doesn't see any of your games or applications. And that's unfortunate because this interface was so great and it was easy to use and hopefully I can find a, a solution for this because we still have a little bit of sorting and you know uh, organizing of all of our games for example putting them in alphabetical order or keeping 
like Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3 together and things like that. So hopefully we can find another app that will work with the uh, categories plugin. And that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.